Capital One, what is good? Today I'm bringing you another workout. Today's workout is designed to work your full body. It's the full body resistance program. And all you're going to need is some kind of step, uh, sofa, uh, a table perhaps, if I don't get into trouble and break anyone's table, um, or a chair. A chair is probably the best, and that'll be strongest normally. So, we're going to do six moves. They're all going to be incorporating the step. And what I want you to aim for is between six, six reps, and 20 repetitions. Now, I'll give you options. If it gets towards 20 and it's still too easy, which will be surprising, but if it is, I'll give you options to make it harder. And again, if you can't do the six reps, a minimum of six, then really you need to be taking an easier option. So, we're gonna go upper, lower body, then core, then upper, lower body, then core. So that's your six moves and you repeat that circuit four times. And then after that, we're going to do a little core workout. So the first one you're going to be all very familiar with is dips. So you want to keep your chest up, and drop your elbows down. Here, if you want to make it easier, all you need to do is bring the legs further in. Obviously, the further they're out, the harder it is. Now, if that is, if somebody can get to 20 there, and they want to make it harder, if you place your feet on something, it will make it a world harder. Okay, next we've got, please ask the person's permission um, to stand on it if you want standing on something that's of value, but step ups. So if you do six to eight reps each leg, sorry, six to 20 reps each leg, nice and controlled on the way down, Notice I'm lowering the weight on the way down. Take about three seconds on that lowering phase. That will make it a lot harder. Now, join, if this is too easy, come 20 reps, which I doubt it will be, but if it is, get something, some added weight, uh, hold something here or hold two objects there, and that will make it a world harder. And then do 20, one leg, or 6 to 20, one leg, 6 to 20, other and then move on. Okay, then we've got, so what we're gonna do is side steps here. So you're just gonna step the foot out, keep the core nice and tight. Now if that's too challenging, just hold it here. Or if that's too challenging, just turn it around, go into the elbows, and just hold it in this high plank position. Or take the step out completely, and we can just sidestep it from here. So, now back to upper body. Now this move is a challenging one. So, watch me carefully. If you walk your hands in, then we're going to lose, lower your hand down, and then push through. Now, if that's too difficult, go on to your knees. And repeat, so. And then chest down, push up. So body. Now, lower body. Glute bridges. So watch from here. So, heels on top of the bench. Back on the floor, upper back on the floor. Then what you're going to do is drive your hips nice and high, squeezing your glutes at the top, and come back down. Now, if that feels too easy, what we can do is we can go to one leg. Now, if you can do 20 reps on one leg, then you're very, very strong and there shouldn't be a problem there. So that's so upper body, lower body. Now, call to finish. What we're going to do here. This is challenging, very challenging. So, in this high side plank position, now this really, really is going to be very, very tough. Hold it there, breathe through it. Okay, now in the plank holds position, so you've got two plank holds, you've got the side steps, and then obviously you've got right, left, right side, left side when you get down to it. Hold them for anywhere from 30 to one minute. So just to recap, you've got six moves. You've got six to 
20 reps each move. And on the core movements, so that's the side steps and the side planks, do anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds each side, depending on how, how good you are at them. And then you've got to repeat those for six moves four times to make the complete circuit. Now, as regards to rest, just rest as required. If, if that means 30 seconds, if that means a minute, then take what's needed, but make sure you're resting long enough that your performance isn't compromised when you go into that next move. Because this is all about quality here, that's hence it's a resistance workout. Okay, now finally, we've got a bit of an angle rest. Really simple, three moves, back to back, then you get a rest, so that's 30 seconds, each move, then you get a rest, and then repeat twice, okay? So, it's, it's a four minute workout, essentially. So this is a bit brutal. It's nice and full on, so first, make sure you've got room to get up and first. Crunch in, second, move them up. Russian twist, now if that's too hard, drop your heels down, lean back, and then reach. And that is challenging. So even if you're in this position here and you've got a chest up, it starts to really get tough for the core. So that's move two. And finally, really intense bicycles. Now if you want to make them harder, you come up with this V sit position. So one, two, three, back to back, 30 seconds each. Then get a 30 second recovery, then repeat twice, and that is your out blast. If you enjoyed today's workout, guys, yeah, just keep crushing it. I don't know what I was going to say there. Keep crushing it whilst you're at home. Keep working hard, and until next time, see you.